Where is God? Do you feel as though you haven't heard from God lately, or that you feel aimless in this moment? I know that I've had moments and even long stretches in my life of feeling like God was absent and I couldn't hear him or feel him. It can feel lonely, depressing, and isolating in those moments. Maybe you even feel like God has been absent because of the choices that you've made in the past year. Maybe, maybe you've been relying on self-indulgent behaviors like binging Netflix or spending hours on Instagram or maybe it's alcohol or even drugs or pornography or, or whatever it might be. There might be self-indulgent behaviors that make it feel like God wouldn't want to be with you. Or maybe that God hasn't been present because we haven't been able to gather on Sundays, been able to have that experience in that time of worship in the same way that we used to be able to have. The book of Esther really speaks to this experience that we have as humans, where we feel that God is absent and not present with us. Did you know that in the book of Esther, that God is never once mentioned in the entire book? God doesn't speak. He's not bringing fire from heaven. There's no clear signs that God is present. And yet, this book is in our Bible and considered inspired and that this story speaks about God and his salvation for us. If we look into the story, we see uh, a lot of moments or events that people today might just call coincidences. Things that just seem to fall into place or, you know, how could that have happened? And so the general story of the book of Esther is that King Xerxes of Persia has some conflict with Queen Vashti, his wife, and disposes of her, and then sets out to find a new queen. And so Mordecai, an official of the king, recommends his niece, Esther, audition in this beauty pageant that the king is holding to find a new queen. So she does, and she wins, and becomes a queen. At the same time, there's another thread to this story. We have Haman who despises Mordecai and the Jews, and he comes up with a plot to be able to wipe out the Jews from the kingdom of Persia. And there's this line that really stands out when Mordecai and Esther are trying to figure out how can they save their people. And Mordecai says this in chapter 5, verse 14 to Esther, and who knows, but that you have come to royal position such a time as this. This is one of those instances where it seems like a coincidence. But what the author is trying to get at is that despite the Jews being exiled, despite them, you know, being in this middle of this conflict and they might be dying, it might seem that God is absent, that God has not abandoned his promises or his people. That there is hope even in the darkest of days. In this story, Esther and Mordecai looked like they were going to die. But God was faithful and was providentially working in their lives. He placed Esther in a position of power because of what was to come. And he placed Mordecai in a place to hear of this plot to kill the king so that he would be honored later. That he would be respected later, which is an important part of the story. God is still present, even when he is absent in our lives, even when we don't see him or feel him. And sometimes in those moments, it's not until we look back that we're able to see how God was working. That we've had a bit of distance from those hard points in our lives, and that we've been able to say, no, God was there. He provided this friend for me. Or maybe, you know, losing this job at this point in time was hard, but God brought something else better down the line for you. And if you're struggling in this time to really see how God is working in your life, and you're really doubting and having a lot of questions, I would really recommend that you talk to a friend who you know would bring you closer to Jesus, who just exudes Jesus in every part of their life, and talk with them about this past year. Talk about this season. Where has it felt like God wasn't absent? And hopefully that friend will be able to point out different points in your life and say, actually, God was there. He was right there with you. He provided in this way. Or look at how this turned out now. It's so much better than we could have imagined. 
My prayer for you this week is that you would be able to spend time reflecting to see how good God is and where he has been moving, even if we don't necessarily see it. Blessings.